Hello, I'm Teacher Robin. Welcome to another live streaming class. If this is your first time to join us, let me explain first how the classes work. Today, our topic is Netflix documentaries. If you have a question during the class, write your question in the comment section and I'll answer it at the end of the class. I also have a few questions for you at the end of my lesson to check what you've learned and you can write your answers in the comment section as well. So before we get started with today's topic, let's look at what we learned in last week's class in case you missed it. So last week we talked about asking for uh, directions, giving directions and asking for directions. So if you are traveling in a foreign country, we looked at how to ask someone for directions. And then if someone asks you for directions, we looked at some different ways of how to explain giving directions to someone, whether they're walking, driving, or if you want to give someone directions on a map. So if you missed that class and you want to watch it again, then go to our video section of our Facebook page. So when you click on that tab on the left-hand side, it will take you to this menu here and you can find all of our previous classes. So you can watch them again, you can tag someone you think might want to watch the class, you can share it on your Facebook page, you can watch it as many times as you need to. Okay, so today we're going to talk about something uh, fun, something a little bit different. We have talked in the past about how to learn English through films, movies, as well as TV shows and songs, so using all kinds of different media to learn English. Today, we're going to focus on Netflix documentary. So as you know, Netflix is a website where you can, an app that you can download where you can watch uh, all kinds of different TV shows and movies, and they also have documentaries. So today we're going to recommend some documentaries for you to watch to improve your English. But first, let's define what is a documentary. So how is it different from a TV show or a movie? Okay, a documentary is a film or a television program that provides, provides a factual report on a particular subject. So what's different about a documentary is that it's actually true. It's based on true facts, it's based on history or someone's actual story. So it's not made up like many TV shows are or movies, it's actually based on factual evidence. Okay, so where can we find documentaries to watch uh, to improve our English? There are many, many, many resources. Today we're going to focus just on Netflix because it's available in many, many countries um, it's a uh, very reasonably reasonably priced. It's pretty cheap for you to subscribe to. Another option is HBO, which is also available in many countries, Hulu, and YouTube. So if you want to find a documentary, you can also just do a YouTube search and see what comes up. Okay, so these are just a few recommendations. There are many, many more, or you can Google as well and see what websites are available in your country for watching documentaries. Okay, so whenever you watch a documentary, what is the best way to do it so that you are learning and improving your English at the same time? What you should do is watch with the subtitles in English. So don't watch uh, don't put the subtitles in your original language. Try to watch them in English. That way you're reading, you're understanding, and you're listening at the same time. Okay? As you are watching, if you don't understand something or they're talking a little bit fast, then pause, go back, start again. If you don't understand, watch it multiple times to make sure that you know what is happening in every scene. And um, if it's a longer documentary, documentaries are normally a little bit shorter than normal films. They're maybe an hour or even less. But if, uh, if you're going to get tired from concentrating on the English for so long, then break it up into shorter sessions. So two or three sessions of 30 minutes or 15 minutes, and that way you're fully focused and you don't get exhausted. Something else you might want to do is uh, take a notebook with you, have a notebook handy, and take notes or write a summary, write down some key vocabulary of words that you hear or expressions that you hear during the documentary that you might want to look up later or you might want to practice in your English conversations. 
Okay, so now let's start with our Netflix documentaries recommendations. Some of these you can find on our blog. We have an article that we'll be posting later featuring uh, Netflix documentaries, and I've added some of my own personal recommendations. So hopefully there's a little bit of something for everyone for all of your preferences, okay? The first one is Planet Earth. This is a very, very popular documentary. It's actually called a docu-series because it's uh, made up of many episodes. So normally a documentary is just one feature, so one hour long film, um, but this is actually a docu-series, so it has many, many episodes, and it's divided into different topics. So. In this case, Planet Earth, they focus on learning vocabulary related to animals, planets, and other, uh, you can learn about other nature words. So you can watch an episode about the jungle, you can watch an episode about the desert, and the narration is very easy to listen to. It's very peaceful, soothing. The narrator speaks normally very slowly. So this is a really great one to start with if you want to watch documentaries in English. There's some nice music, there's not a lot of dialogue, so hopefully you don't get lost and you can follow along, but remember to always put the subtitles. Okay, now moving on, Amanda Knox. This is a documentary about a girl, a study abroad student who is accused of murdering, killing her flatmate in Italy. So. When I say study abroad, I mean uh, spending one semester, one year, a trimester in a foreign country. So this girl is living in Italy, uh, she's an American, and she is accused, uh, found guilty of killing her flatmate in, uh, in, their, in their flat. So this is the story from her perspective, so it's, uh, it's interesting to, to see what happens and how the story develops, okay? So if you like kind of crime, mystery stories, this might be something interesting for you to watch, okay? Along the same lines, Making a Murderer. This is what's called a true crime series, okay? So this is another series with many episodes, and I think there's two seasons, actually. The main, uh, this story focuses on Stephen Avery, and he is actually exonerated after years in prison, um, which means that you are found not guilty of something. So if you uh, go to jail for a crime and then you are exonerated, it means that you are found not guilty. So this man, Stephen Avery, spent 18 years in prison then he was released or exonerated, so he was found not guilty. And then he is accused of committing another murder. Okay, so this is the story of um, what happens after he is uh, accused of committing this second murder, okay? So this is another, if you are interested in crime, this might be something for you to watch. Okay, changing topics. Another documentary is A Dog's Life. So if you like animals, you know that we love animals at ABBA, especially dogs. You might have seen our episode or our live streaming class on pet care or at the vet. This is, uh, this explores a dog's life of how, uh, from a dog's perspective. So how dogs see the world, what they see, how they process information and perceive time. So here the word perceive means to become aware of, know or identify by means of the senses. So how do dogs actually process information and what is their sense of time in the world, okay? So that might be interesting for you if you like animals. And Man on Wire, okay? This is the story of a man named Philippe Petit. In the year 1974, he actually walked on a high, a high wire between the uh, Twin Towers of the World Trade Center in New York, okay? So a high wire is a rope that's stretched tight above the ground used for balancing acts. So if you go to something like the circus, you might have seen someone doing a high wire act, but in this case, he's actually walking between two skyscrapers, between two very tall buildings in New York. So this is the story of how he did that and the effects that it had on the world afterwards. Okay, and my last recommendation is called Exit Through 
the gift shop. So this is the story about a French shopkeeper and filmmaker who tries to document, so he tries to make his own documentary about a graffiti artist called Banksy. So graffiti is uh, when someone writes or draws or sprays on a surface or a public space. So you may have seen some graffiti in your hometown or somewhere you have traveled and a very, very famous graffiti artist, but someone who is unknown, his identity is actually not known, is this artist called Banksy. So this is his story from the perspective of a French shopkeeper who tries to document his life. So if you like art, then this could be something interesting for you to watch. Okay, so I've given you an overview of many different documentaries. As I said on our blog, you can find even more recommendations. So now let's practice together. I'm going to ask you three questions and you can write your answers in the comment section. Okay, so my first question is, how can documentaries improve your English skills? So what can you do? How can you improve your skills, listening, reading, writing, etc., your comprehension skills by watching documentaries? So I told you at the beginning of the class, but maybe you have something that you want to add. If so, write it in the comments. Okay, my second question, do you have a favorite documentary? If so, what is it about? What is the title? Is it in English? Is it in your native language? Um, what kind of documentaries do you like to watch? And this kind of ties into my last question, which documentary topics interest you the most? So is it crime? Is it um, nature, animals? Is it something else, biographies, history? Um, what kind of uh, topics are most interesting to you regarding documentaries? So write your answers in the comments section. And as you're doing that, let me tell you more about our course here at ABBA. At ABBA, we have a complete course from beginners to business level based on short films. So each, uh, there are 144 units. Each unit has a short film, a video class explaining the grammar, and exercises to help you improve your English. So if you study with our course, you can use your tablet, your smartphone, and your PC or Mac, and your progress is saved on all of these devices. So it's a very flexible way to study anywhere and anytime. If you sign up with us, shortly we'll be posting a link to our website. If you click on this link, you can sign up as a free student. As a free student, you'll have access to all of the video classes as well as the first unit of each level. And then if you decide to go premium, you will have access to all of the course content and you'll be assigned a teacher like myself or like Teacher Dell, who you can write to anytime you have a question. So, in addition to our ABBA course, we have many, many other free resources that you can use to improve your English. I mentioned earlier our blog. This is our ABBA journal. There you can find all kinds of different articles about grammar, about English for business, English for travel, culture, and you can find even more articles about learning English with films, with documentaries. We also have on our Facebook page our weekly live streaming classes that you can participate in and you can also check the calendar on our Facebook page to see when the live streaming classes are taking place and you can participate in different quizzes that we post. And we also have a YouTube page and a Twitter, a YouTube channel and a Twitter page as well. So lots and lots of opportunities for you to practice your English for free with us here at ABBA. Now let's see who is joining us today and uh, what questions or comments do you have about documentaries? Okay, Ghislaine, Arian, Caro, Suthin, Roca, and Arison say hello. Okay, great. I see that Caro says something. Just a second and we'll see what she has to say. Okay, okay, Gaia says that he likes crime. All right, I think that's a popular uh, genre for many people. You want, uh, you like the thrill, the intrigue of uh, finding out, did this person commit a murder or not? 
Um, this is always interesting when watching documentaries or TV shows as well. Let me go ahead and tell you about next week's class while um, we're waiting on your comments. Next week, uh, or this, later this week actually, the next class, Teacher Dell is going to tell you about the imperatives. So you may already know what those are, and if you don't, then you will find out on Thursday. Okay, a Tef says that he likes mysteries. Okay, good. Remember that you can also turn on your notifications to receive a message anytime we're live streaming. All right. Masood says that he likes sports. Okay, there's lots of documentaries that you can find related to different kinds of sports or that focus on a, spe uh, on a specific team or a specific player. Yeah, that's a really good example. Okay, good. So it looks like we have a lot of variety in our <laughs> students. Good, okay. Let's look at one more comment and then we'll wrap up for today. All right, Rashad says hi. Great. Okay, Rashad, what kind of documentaries do you like to watch? All right, good. Okay, it looks like we have quite a few people joining us today. Ghislaine says, I love animal documentaries. Okay, good. Great. All right, well, I want to thank everyone for participating today. Um, I hope that this has been useful for you. If you have other recommendations of documentaries that you think will help to improve your English, please tell us in the comments. And if I didn't answer your question or say something to you during the live class, then I'll be happy to get back to you in the comments later on today. So thanks again to everyone who has participated. And um, please join us next time when we're talking about imperatives. So take care and uh, thanks a lot. Bye.